Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to group dates in a pivot table. Let's say we've got this simple data. We've got first name, last name, these dates, and department number. Maybe these are the people that attended a webinar and you want to just see which groups uh, attended the webinar, a count of the groups. So let's see what the pivot table could look like. Let's say I'm in this pivot table and I've already grouped them. I have them in quarters. And the nice thing about this, of course, is you can expand it or um, collapse it and then it can show you all of the data uh, as you drilled up and down it but also you can also chart this. Let's bring in the chart here. Move this one over a bit and we can have our chart and we can also do the same thing with a chart and you can either do it with a table you can expand that you can see that it has moved the chart information out or you can do it within the chart by clicking the plus signs or the minus signs or clicking one of them. Maybe we only want to see quarter one or maybe let's look at quarter four. We want to see quarter four. I think we can do this here if we just select quarter four. No, we're going to have to do it within quarter four. So I select quarter four, right click and then go and expand and I can see it for quarter four. Same if I do it up here, right? But if we wanted to do it within the chart, you have to select over the area and do the right click, expand or collapse. So let's see how we can do this. Let me go into my new sheet here and I'm gonna create a pivot table from here. So click anywhere within the sheet, go to insert, pivot table, and let's put this onto a new worksheet, click okay. All I need to do is uh, I'll just put department in here and put, I mean date here, and then put department here. And you notice that it, it counts all the dates here, right? I mean, it puts all the dates here in the row and it gives you the count. And we'll do a right click, go into group, and we get this error. And that error happens because if we look at our data, you'll notice that it looks a little bit different. My tab here, my data tab here looks a little bit different here. The date in this data tab, right? You can see the alignment is different. So this is one thing that you probably need to be aware of is dates are seen as numbers in Excel and numbers are right aligned. They're aligned to the right of the cell. Text, you notice the text is left aligned. So if you see the text here, this text is left aligned and that's why it's not grouping. That's why you get that error if I try to group this, right? So to get rid of that error, what you need to do is turn these into numbers. And the easiest way to do that is just to do some kind of arithmetic. So I'm just type number one here, control C to copy, go into here, shift control down arrow, and I'm gonna paste that number one, but paste special, and have it multiply. So that number times one is going to turn it into, it's gonna be the same number, but it will turn it into a number, see? So you can see here, Excel sees dates as numbers. I can change this all back into the display formatting as a date. Go under the short date and this all becomes a date. And now you notice that it's all left the line. Let's delete that. I go back into my sheet here, right click refresh to pull that data back in. And now I can group it. You can see that it's displayed correctly. Right click and group. And now I have my grouping capabilities. I'll select month and quarters. Click OK, and now everything is nicely grouped, you can see, right? We have quarter one, quarter two. Actually, I can also select year, I think. In this particular sheet, I had 2018 and 2019. Let's go back in and also select year. Click OK, and now we have year. And expand or collapse all of this first. Collapse everything. So I have 2018, 2019. And now from this, I can create my chart. Go to insert. And let's just create a simple chart here. Let's close this out. And now I have my chart. So I can go to 2018 and you can see as I expand that, the chart also expands or I can click on 2019 here and right click, go to expand, uh, expand. Uh, do I expand it? No, let's just expand it once. So we expand it here. So I have the chart on a different sheet. I can expand it in the chart and I didn't have to mess with the table. 
I also have these buttons down here where I can uh, expand and collapse a few. So let's say I didn't need them all. I can collapse them or I can expand it. This will be generic for all of the series of data here. Um, so if you wanted to do it gener generically for everything, you can use these buttons down here. Certain versions of Excel might not have these buttons, but so you might have to go back to the table. But if you wanted to do it just for well, this one part of the chart, and this is not in the same sheet as a table, just do it here with the, within the chart. Right click, uh, expand. Right. So one other thing to keep in mind is we, maybe you do this a lot and you kind of want to automate it. You don't want to always want to group it. You want Excel to do that for you. Let's make a copy of this. Right click, make a copy, and create a copy. Click OK. And we have this here. So, so I have it automatically do it in my version of Excel because it didn't do it the first time because those dates were string text. They were text and it didn't do it. But since I've turned it into a numbers, if I go to insert, pivot table, uh, new worksheet, click OK. And I brought in the department there and I brought date here. You now notice that it will automatically group them. Now we've got it quarters, years, etc. right? And you might wonder, well, why isn't it doing it for mine? You might have an option unchecked. So you go to File, Options, go to Data, and make sure that is unchecked. If you have that checked, it won't do that automatic grouping for you. But if you don't like to have the grouping done for you for dates and times, you might want to check that. So if we have that checked, it will disable the automatic grouping. Currently right now, I have mine to automatically group dates. And that's why it's doing that once I bring in a date field. So that's the way that we can group dates in pivot tables. I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.